Hi friends, in this session let's see how to merge two or more files using union all transformation in Dataflow task. So let's go to SSIS package and add a new package for this task. Now go to toolbox and drag Dataflow task into designer. Now open Dataflow task and go to SSIS toolbox and configure your source connections. So in this case flat file source because source file has CSV extension. Now double click on the flat file source, click new, browse, select the first one. Now use text qualifier as double quote because uh, I know the source columns has text qualifiers. We use this text qualifier to consider the text the, that are between the these qualifiers in order to avoid the special characters those kind of issues as you know go to columns now and see the data is aligning correctly and click ok now go to columns and click ok now let's take another flat file source for second connection now click new browse and map second connection Use text qualifier double quotes. Now click OK. Columns. OK. Now go to flat file source again and configure your third connection. Browse. Three. Text qualifier. Columns. Click OK. Columns. And then OK. Now go to union all drag this union all now map the input columns here if you notice it is not showing any input output mapping drop down list like we see in the match right so it will allow n number of sources so now let's open union all and see all are mapped if you have different names in the sources then you can use this drop down list to align it properly based on your requirement okay now click ok now let's take any dummy task just to view the data verify data you can if you so in our cases in real time scenarios we usually a load this kind of major data into destination or we will generate reports based on some aggregation transformations like we uh, discussed in the project practice one so so any type of so in this session my idea is to show you how we have to use this union all and merge and other transformations so technically okay i hope it will be useful for you so now let's execute, let's enable the data viewer here in the multicast before mapping. So I'm just using multicast as a dummy task just for this data viewing purpose. So this is how we actually use while we develop uh, the package to verify the data is correctly merging or we see any errors. So let's execute the package whether it executes correctly or we see any issues. showing errors because let's check in the progress because of truncation errors text was truncated in the name in the column name right so let's go to source connection managers so this is how we have to verify every time we develop a package but once we set in the development stage when we deploy this into production we usually won't receive this kind of issues but we have to make sure that our package is executing properly when we are in development. So the reason behind this error is flat file sources. When we working on flat file sources, the data types and their lengths by default aligns to 50. So because the name 
has more size in the column data it is showing this error so let's change that to 500 so when you see this kind of errors uh, you no need to use sort or data or conversion or any other conversions you can just go to flat file sources whatever sources you are using just go to advanced editor and change the data type here okay now click ok now go to other source as well and name click change here and change here name okay now double click and usually when we click ok it should update the metadata but sometimes it will not update so in that case you can do you can try another you have to delete this and map it again map it map and map now map to multicast and then enable data viewer click ok now we execute the package to verify whether it execute correctly or not so it's executing correctly so and the data is matching as we expected so union all is matching all the source connections that we mapped and it is allowing more than two or many okay now click close so see all uh, the count it is matching all the source counts and source data basically so you can use any other destination transformation and based on your requirements you can uh, map this output to other transformations or destination I hope it's useful for you and please like share comment if you have any questions uh, comment and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks a lot for watching my video